Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a review of a mini-series from Norway, Norwegian Language English Subs, released in the year 2012, directed by Patrick Sveeson, and this film is called Helfjord. So Helfjord starts off in Oslo, where this policeman is on, um, on duty during a parade. Now, during this parade, he accidentally kills his horse in front of horrified witnesses. So as a result of this, he has been punished by losing his job. But before he loses his job, he has to go on a three-month notice. So to serve out his three-month notice, he is sent to this remote fishing community called Helfjord. So he gets there, and straight away he realises that something is off, that something is wrong, that he can't really tell what it is, but he just has a sense that it is. So he joins up with this local journalist who also believes that something is very off and they start to dig uh, to uncover the terrifying truth that hold, that has been uh, holding Helfjord uh, for many many years. So what happens at that point on is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Helfjord. Now this is directed by Patrick Sveeson who is a very good director but the reason why I wanted to see this more than anything was the fact that Tommy Wiercola and Stig Froda Henriksen were responsible for writing the film. So if you don't know who they are they were um, they were a duo in Dead Snow as well. Tommy Wee Cole directed that film and Stig Photo of Henriksen wrote it. So if you like Dead Snow, this one will immediately capture your interest. Now this is a mini-series, so it's not a standard movie, but I don't think it has a season two, so I'm going to be reviewing it as a movie because it really feels that way. So you've got seven episodes that go for 30 minutes, so it's around 210 minutes as a feature film. So what you get here at Hellfjord, it's a mixture of Twin Peaks meets Hot Fuzz. You've got the same feeling of Hot Fuzz where he goes to this community, he realises that something is off, he doesn't know what it is, he does some investigation and then bad things happen. So if you like hot fights, you're going to get something out of Hellfield. And then you've got Twin Peaks, just the weirdness of the whole situation, the really exaggerated characters, and it just feels like those two uh, works of art, basically, they have come together to really inspire these filmmakers and I thought that it was you know, it was a fairly good attempt. I thought Hellfjord was very enjoyable but it did have its problems. Now to start off with I thought it was very funny uh, especially at the start where the guy accidentally kills his horse. Now usually I get really disturbed by animals dying on screen even if it is fake but this one was done in a way that was really really funny so that really set the tone for the rest of the film and it doesn't really disappoint as far as humor is concerned but my only problem with Hellfjord was the fact that it felt like it was going too far with a joke. So it's like the guy who tells a joke and he he gets the impact of the punchline and it's really funny but he has to stay with that in order to make it funny but if you keep going on and on it starts to lose its impact it starts to lose the flavor and that was the problem with Hellfield is that they said something really funny and it really worked but they just kept going on with it instead of just leaving it there and going on to the next part so that is it was you know very evident throughout the entire movie that there were moments where really funny moments were just the, the gloss was taken off them a little bit because they were just trying too hard just to you know, keep going on and on and on where it would have been better just to leave that certain area and just go on to the next one. So, as far as that's concerned, as I said, it doesn't take anything away from the film. I thought it was very funny. The dialogue was very good. Uh, but the repetitive nature of the film kind of took me out um, as well. Uh, you've got some scenery with the police station especially and there's this other scenery with uh, prison where it felt like it was copy and paste and every single time a new environment was taking place, it felt like it had to make it obvious as to where it was set. Instead of having a set design that was really unique, so you don't have to be told where it is, you already know it. So it's kind of like an insult to the viewer's intelligence in that you can't really determine where this event is happening without it being plastered on the screen to make it obvious. So with the police station, it's always got the same scene which shows the police written on the on the door and it's basically holding your hand telling you where each event is taking place and I really don't like that I think that it's a little bit of an insult to the viewers intelligence but you know that is just a little criticism as is the case with going too far with the the humor because I actually thought Hellfield was very very good as I said if you like hot fires you're gonna really like this film I thought the characters were really exaggerated I loved it I thought Zahid Ali who plays the policeman was really well done and it's just some of it was deadpan humor other parts of it was slapstick so it does combine a lot of humour in there and I actually thought the story was very captivating I thought there was a mystery behind this whole city this whole community that was really off and it made a sense of dread a very subtle sense of dread but you never really it never really gets in the way of you enjoying the film. It's entertaining. It's not supposed to hit you with really disturbing parts, although there are some very disturbing moments, and moments that you're laughing at where you shouldn't laugh at. So it's everything that a dark comedy has, and it's something that these writers of the film really do well. It's their, 
It's the speciality as far as dark humour, laughing at things you wouldn't normally laugh at. So, the acting was very good. Ingrid Balsol Baldal, who is a very good actress, she was of the Colprey movies. She does a really good job as the journalist. And as I said, Stig Froda Henriksen plays this old guy who was the funniest part of the film. And there was a lot of mystery to it. So, I thought the movie unraveled very well. I would like to see a season two. I don't know if that's going to happen. But overall, for Hellfeud, I really liked it. I thought the cinematography was excellent, captured a very remote part of Norway, very beautiful, but at the same time, very very dreaded. So it's a very good dark humorous sort of uh, mini series and it's one that I would highly recommend and as a result of that I'm going to give Hellfood three and a half stars. Alright guys that's my review, hope you enjoyed it, till next time keep watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.